this is Wendy Lee from creativelyyours.com, and I will be hosting a new holiday catalog uh, ribbon and paper share, and I wanted to share a little bit with you so that you know what to expect from the way that I run my share. So everybody does it a little bit differently, um, but I wanted to show you what you're going to get in the shares for this holiday catalog. So the holiday catalog is, is technically the September through December mini catalog. It starts on September 6th. So it'll be here before you know it. So I've got registration going on now um, and it will close on September 5th if you want to participate in the share that I'm doing. So let's first start with my favorite, the designer series paper. So there are um, 13 different packs. You're going to get 75, well actually more than 75 sheets. I think it's 77 sheets of our fabulous designer series paper. We have the best designer series paper, in my opinion. Um, most of it is two-sided, not all of it, but um, the majority of it is. So the first one I'm gonna show you is um, Garden Walk. So this is a gorgeous paper. Um, you're gonna get eight sheets of this. So let's run through these designs real quick. So you've got your florals and you've got a lovely print on the back. So they're very versatile. So if you're not a fan of the floral side, you do have the other sides to use as well. And we've been talking a lot recently about changing up your designer papers to add some colors into the paper that you might not already see, right? So for example, like you could add maybe some pretty peacock stripes going the other direction and turn this into a plaid, right? So fun, so versatile. So some really great um, all occasion prints. You've got a little holiday inspired in there as well. So that is going to be eight sheets of that one. Next, I have all about autumn. Let's see if I can do this without making a huge, huge mess. So the all, all about autumn is a specialty sheet, uh, pack of paper. You're gonna get 12 sheets. Let's see if I can fan this out so you can see those, right? So one side has a metallic on the other on, on it, and the other side is really cool, realistic prints. So let me kind of show these each to you so you can see. That doesn't make sense to do that one upside down. Maybe, maybe I should turn my pack upside down. <laughs> so just some really nice textures on both sides of this paper. I love that, the leaf. A bookshelf. I'm probably flipping these upside down. Pumpkins. My favorite is the metallic side, of course, because I like that. But the other side is gorgeous as well. So you have lots of versatility in what you're going to do with this gorgeous paper pack. Love a good wood grain. Who doesn't, right? Do a lot with it. A little sweater. I feel like I want to curl up on the couch. All right. Perfect, so gorgeous stack of fall, fall inspired papers there. All right, next, we're gonna bring in the oxidized copper. You're gonna get two sheets. So the 12 by 12 packs will be cut into six by six. So you're gonna get a six by six sheet of each of these. Now these are single sided, um, so you won't have to hide any of the fabulousness because the back is plain white on those. Uh, sometimes Stampin' Up! does that with some specialty papers. Now we've got them bones. Let's move into some Halloween paper. So them bones, you're gonna get six, six by six sheets. This is the paper pack. Um, so you've got this, and then on the back, it's got little boos all across it. Um, and then you've got our skeletons and then the houndstooth on the back. And what's cute about this houndstooth is that it's little bats, which I think is so fun. Then you've got a nice chunky plaid and some tombstones. Who doesn't love dancing skeletons? And then you've got a bone print on the back. Love stuff like this, little borders. And then on the back, you've got another herringbone that's made of bats. And then you've got the bat print and then a stripe. So super versatile. Um, got a lot of fun things that you can do with that, making your Halloween treats this year, right? All right, let's move into the next one, which is Oh Holy Night. This is really stunning paper. Um, it is not a specialty paper. You're going to get six sheets. I'm not getting this to fan out very well. Um, and it's very blue and earthy looking, but we'll show you each one. So 
so pretty with the stars. It's got a real nice watercolory feel to it. Um, and I have this upside down. Let's see if I can flip that. These would make great scrapbook pages. Granted, they're going to be beautiful for cards as well. But the, I do feel like they lend themselves really nicely to some framed art, like some home decor would be nice. And it doesn't have to be used all Christmas, right? It's kind of a sandy desert. I like that. Fun prints there. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Nice. All right. Perfect. Next. This is one of my favorites because it's just cheerful and fun. It's Merry, Bold, and Bright. So um, this one is going to be six sheets as well. So if I can fan these out, it doesn't do it justice when you fan them out, really. I'll show you each one. So you've got trees on one side, and then I love the bright, bold stripes, right? This paper is so much more than just Christmas. You've got your lovely polka dots, and then these could be triangles or trees, however you want to look at that, right? Um, you've got a lovely, bold diagonal stripe and stars. Love this one. Multicolor polka dots. And fa la 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 la. <laughs> some lovely bulbs and a stripe on the back, and then some additional bulbs with a beautiful polka dot on the back. So bright, bold, cheerful, very exciting. All right. Next, we're going to start moving into a little more traditional holiday. We've got Joy of Christmas. So this one is six sheets as well. So we've got that and then I love the back sides of these because they're so neutral that you don't have to use these for Christmas if you don't want to of course you're going to use it all up it'll make great compliments all these um, lovely textures that you've got going on are going to make great compliments to the more traditional looking Christmas or foliage right that you can use that any time of year right a leafy print love it and who doesn't love a good red check some merry notes on the back and then some berries. So lots of fun bright colors on that one as well. Love it. Next, we've got a um, specialty pack that coordinates called Joyful. And this one is Joyful Specialty Paper. You're going to get four sheets. And these are single-sided sheets as well. So they've got a metallic. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. Catching that gold in there. So gold metallic is in this one. So you got your music notes, some fun wood grain, and my favorite little plaid. So lots of fun with that. Next up, another specialty paper. This is called Shining Brightly. Beautiful, beautiful. Now this is intended, I believe, to go with that old holy night that we talked about earlier. I should have put them together, but I didn't. Uh, you're gonna get six sheets. Again, this is a single-sided specialty paper with that gold, that nice gold metallic on it. So you've got some navy backgrounds and then you've got the prints again, but with a vanilla background. So kind of fun, right? Two sets of colors. Love those, they're so elegant. And again, you can use those for way more than Christmas in my opinion. All right, next, let's get a little playful. We're going to move to our Berry Christmas 12 by 12 paper. Now, this one you are going to get, where do I have it? Six sheets as well. So you've got gifts on one side that can be used year round and some fun sweater type prints. Got some bold snowflakes. And then how stinking cute is that? The little polar bear prints. Love it, love it, love it. And then polar bears playing in the hillside of trees. Got to love that. And some trees. Another fun sweater print, right? And then a cute, cute little uh, animals that you can cut those out or you can just use them as they are. Another gorgeous one for a scrapbook page or framed art would be lovely. Got it. It would look fabulous on a card as well. Um, and then you've got the back side of that. And then some cute polar bears. And the polar bear punch will coordinate with some of the images as well. So you'll be able to cut it right out of your paper if that is one that is speaking to you. All right, next. Now we've got um, a walk in the forest. Now th this one I think is interesting because this is one that um, 
is also a fundraiser. So donations are going to be made. And I do not have that with me. Oh, poop. All right. I didn't grab it. Um, or I buried it. Nope, I don't have it. Okay. So this is in the front of the catalog. You might miss it when you open up your holiday catalog. Um, it's in the front pages and it is um, a paper that Stampin' Up! is going to use for per every purchase. They're going to make a donation and it's listed in the catalog of what that donation is. I apologize for not having that data in front of me. Um, so, you know, Stampin' Up! is really good about supporting the community and um, doing things like this every year. So I think this is fun. And I love this paper. So you've got some fun uh, animals on one side. And then you've got a stripe on the other. And this one's got our little holly berries. And just a fun, um, like a fern type print. Fir tree type print. And then... This is fun. And um, some of our dyes coordinate with the trees, which is fun. Now, I haven't checked, but I think this brown bear also matches the polar bear punch. Don't quote me on that because I could be wrong. And then a nice tree print on the back. Lovely pine cones. And then this could be a polka dot or a snowy sky, right? You can let your creativity run with that. Some beautiful trees. I love these types of prints. And then the uh, snowflakes. You can't go wrong with snowflakes. You can use them all winter long. Some more trees and some stripes. Here again, you could add some additional colors to this or turn this into a plaid easily. Um, you could even add color into some of these other prints by coloring some of the centers of the snowflakes or adding some splatter or all kinds of fun stuff like that if you like prints that have more color in them. All right, next. We are moving, we just have a couple more. We are using to the Winter Meadow 12 by 12 paper. Uh, winter Meadow, you are gonna get six six by six sheets. Remember, I'm cutting everything to six by six. So you're gonna have nice, neat sampling of everything. So love the colors in this. This is more of a, um, I think a wintry, cool wintry feel. Um, and it's just gorgeous, just, just gorgeous. And of course, these are all, hand-painted prints that we could never duplicate if we wanted to, right? <laughs> Maybe you can. Maybe you have that artistic ability. I just buy the paper and let Stampin' Up! do the work for me, right? So many good things. I love the look of this one. And that make a wonderful, um, like a masculine birthday or, you know, obviously it could be Christmas as well, but. So some great prints there to use all winter long. Could be used for the holidays as well. All right, my last pack I've got is another specialty pack, and this is called Snowflake Magic. You're going to get three sheets. This is uh, a single-sided as well specialty paper. So it's got a metallic foil. So you got that lovely snowflakes. This one re just reminds me of a blizzard. And then this one's my favorite. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Love it, love it, love it. So if you were to purchase every one of those packs of paper, it would cost you $155 in the US plus shipping and tax. So the share for that is $52 US. That's going to ship right directly to you. Um, but I've got some bonus items as well. So if you are a fan of ribbons, we have lovely ribbons as well. Um, so I've got eight new ribbons. And so you're going to get about two yards of each of the ribbons if you decide to add this on. So I'm not doing this as a separate purchase, but you can add it on for an additional $26. Um, if you were to purchase all the spools of these ribbons, it would be another $61.50 plus shipping and tax. So the first one we have here is a balmy blue uh, sparkle ribbon. Let's get close to the camera. Is that not gorgeous? So it's got a, a kind of a velvet texture to it. Super sparkly, super soft and fun. Next up, we have a black and very vanilla chunky check. Uh, they call it large check. Probably a nicer way to say it than chunky check, right? Anyway, it's a 3 8 inch wide ribbon. So it's a little wider than what we have in the catalog today. Um, it's a smaller check and it's with black and white. You can still color this. Um, it's super soft, easy to tie, um, very, very versatile. So I think you're going to like that one. Now we've got a Calypso Coral 3 16 inch braided trim. I keep holding it down too low, um, which is really, really nice. You could pull this apart really easily if you wanted to um, or use it as is super soft as well. 
Next, a copper metallic, quarter inch copper metallic ribbon. Lovely. So it's just, it's just really pretty, really pretty. Would go great with all your fall projects. You could bring that into some Christmas ones as well. And then we've got a one inch natural trim. It's got a nice depth of brown to it and it frays really easily as well if you wanted to fray that. Um, so just really pretty, really soft to the hand. Um, and then, oh, the wow of this one. Night and navy and gold. So this is a half inch glittered ribbon. Um, so yes, sometimes glitter will come off on your hands when you're doing this, but I love it. Love it, love it, love it. If you don't like glitter at all, don't do that ribbon. But it is stunning. Absolutely stunning. All right. Silver and white sheer ribbon. This is one of my favorites. And I didn't write down the width of this, but I believe that this is another 5 8 ribbon. Let's see if I've got a ruler. It might be a half. Yeah, it's a half inch. Half inch just looks so wide, but it is so soft and so easy to tie that it's just gonna make fabulous um, accents on your projects. And then last but not least, we've got a half inch white iridescent trim. So let's see if I can get the light to capture that. So it will kind of take on the color that you're putting it with. So really soft, really nice as well. Okay, so that is the add-on option to add on the ribbons. When you add on the ribbons to your paper share and do the whole thing, you have um, some bonus gifts for me as well. So you're going to get a sheet of the glow in the dark paper. Now, if I could turn lights off and show you this, it glows kind of a greenish tint. Uh, I don't even know how to accomplish that without turning off my lights, which means I would have to run away. And uh, maybe I'll do that at the end of the video and we'll leave this up. But it's a little glow in the dark sheet of paper. And then you're also going to get a six by six sheet of the Melon Mambo Metallic Foil and Granny Apple Green Metallic Foil. Love it, love it, love it. So you get those three sheets as a little bonus gift for doing the uh, both the ribbon and the paper share together. So I hope I've answered. Oh, let me show you one last thing before I move on. Packaging. So I package my paper shares in a Ziploc bag. And then they have a sheet in front of them that tell you what it is, the original size it comes in, the item number, and, and what's in the pack. And then I do the little color pills that match. So you know what your coordinating colors are. So each, each paper is packed individually. So you don't have to try to rummage through and figure out what's what. And then the ribbons, I put them in a small cello bag, individual ribbons, and I close them up and put a label on the bottom of them so that you know what ribbon it's from. Same thing. It's got the name of the ribbon um, and the item number so that you'll know uh, if that's a ribbon that you love, you'll be able to order that super easy again. All right. So hopefully this gives you everything that you need. Registration is open. I will put it in the video below. So expand the video to show more and you'll see the link to register for the shares. Again, registration closes September 5th. I hope you'll give me a join. All right, thanks so much. Let me know if you have any questions and bye for now.